Hi, welcome to Fulton Vascular. My name is Greg Fulton and I'm a vascular surgeon at Cork University Hospital. The purpose of these videos are to provide information on vascular diseases and their treatment. For more information you can get it from our website FultonVascular.com or follow us on Twitter at Fulton Vascular. Thanks very much. Hi, today we're going to talk about the carotid arteries. Now the carotid arteries um, are found in the neck, you have one on the left and one on the right and their job is to supply blood to the brain. Now unlike other organs around the body it's actually quite difficult to um, significantly reduce the blood flow to the brain because the blood flow is quite generous. Unfortunately when they're diseased they can cause other problems and chief among these is stroke. So how do they become diseased? Well. Not surprisingly, um, arteries all around the body become diseased when they are subject to a series of risk factors. You're, these are all well known to you. Um, high blood pressure, cigarette smoking, high cholesterol and diabetes. Now, when the carotid, the carotid arteries become thickened and diseased, you get this kind of picture. You can see here the main artery passing all the way up to the brain with the, another carotid artery or a smaller artery coming off to the side which supplies um, various structures in the neck. What happens um, is that an abnormal lining appears on the inside of the blood vessel and as a result this is rather ragged and it also reduces the caliber of the blood vessel. So you can see for example that a normal blood vessel would have quite a, a generous way through or passageway through it but in fact when you have a very thickened lining you get this rather narrow caliber blood vessel with most of the space being taken up by the lining itself. Now as a result of this if, if any of you have ever um, put your finger under a running tap you'll know that you get a, a jet of water so not surprisingly the blood flow through this particular area is much faster. Now a combination of the fast blood flow and the rather ragged lining can lead to small number of particles being dislodged. They pass up in the bloodstream up into the smaller blood vessels up into the, uh, in the brain until they get to a point where they're actually bigger than the blood vessel in which they're traveling and they block that blood vessel off. Now if it only happens for a short period of time you get a thing called a transient ischemic attack or mini stroke but unfortunately if that blood vessel gets blocked off permanently you end up getting a stroke and as you all know this can be very devastating. So, so how do you diagnose this? Well the key to the diagnosis is to pick up the fast moving blood through, flow through the artery and this is done with an ultrasound scanner. Um, not surprisingly the faster the blood um, as it flows through the blood vessel the more diseased the artery is. Um, in addition to this you can do further tests with MRI and CT but ultrasound remains um, the main way it's diagnosed. So how do you treat um, a badly diseased carotid artery like that? Well the most important thing to do is to deal with the risk factors and try and get them sorted first of all. So if you've got high blood pressure or high cholesterol get them under control. Um, if you're diabetic try and get the best possible diabetic control and of course stop smoking. Now in addition to the risk factor management most doctors would tend to add a blood thinning medication such as aspirin and for the vast majority of patients with um, carotid disease sorting out the risk factors and starting the patient on, on aspirin or a similar type of drug is really all that they need. If however they have a very very tight narrowing um, then almost certainly some kind of surgical intervention is required. Now the op operation that we do for this is called carotid endarterectomy. Um, the principle of this is that the patient is put asleep, the neck is opened and the artery is exposed. Then what happens is the artery is opened along its length and this rather ragged, um, nasty, irregular lining is then planed out from the inside of the blood vessel, leaving the majority of the blood vessel wall there and a nice shiny new lining which is not um, as diseased and not as dangerous. Then the hole in the artery that was made to do this is then closed with a synthetic patch and this leads to a, a nice caliber or increased caliber in the blood vessel which hopefully reduces the prospect of this happening in the future. Now this operation has been tried and tested quite extensively over the last couple of decades and has really been shown to be consistently 
the most successful and the most durable treatment for very significant chronic disease. And this is despite um, the coming and going of some of your treatments. Thank you. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you find this video useful. For more information, check out our website, FultonVascular.com, or follow us on Twitter at FultonVascular. Bye for now.